more forms for you, sire. <sighs> Pompadour, please. How much paperwork can one king endure? I'm not sure. Hmm. Please sign these quickly, sire. I have your entire schedule timed right down to the minute. You have a luncheon with the ladies' limbo league at two, a conference call with the koala king at three, and the annual fly fisherman's flotilla and fish feast at four. I'm still full from the last time. Hello, Baba. Pompadour. Madame, how wonderful to see you. Pompadour, look who's back. How nice to see you again, Madame. We simply must sit down and catch up. You have two minutes. I see Pompadour is keeping you as busy as ever, Baba. Some things never change, especially you, my dear. Tell me, how were your travels? I wouldn't know where to begin. Rome was romantic, the Orient was fascinating, and Africa was breathtaking. And Paris, how was Paris? Beautiful. You said it yourself, Baba. Some things never change. We had some grand times there, didn't we? We certainly did. I can't understand why you've never gone back. It's not that I haven't wanted to. Paris is like a second home to me. I plan to take the whole family there a number of times, but my schedule never permitted it. One minute left. Uh, Baba, this letter just arrived for you. It's from the mayor of Paris and is marked urgent. Well, what does it say? The mayor is requesting our presence at a highly important meeting. The mayor wants me? What an honor! No, actually, he wants Madame and I. Whatever for, Baba? He can't say. It's top secret. His only instructions are that we deliver the briefcase to him personally. The document inside is vital to the success of the meeting. We're not to let it out of our sight for a second. Briefcase? What briefcase? Cornelius! Oh, good heavens! I left it in the hall! There! How oh, very intriguing! I wonder what's inside. We've been asked not to open it until we reach Paris. Don't tell me that you are actually considering embarking on this mission. What if it's dangerous? What about my schedule? My, my, how exciting. We've never performed a top-secret mission before. A few assignments, yes, and scores of chores, <laughs> yeah, but never a top-secret mission. I wonder what this is all about. Whatever it is, it must be important, Baba. Clear my schedule, Pompadour. We're catching the next train to Paris. <laughs> Cornelius, do you really think we need them? Uh, due to the top secret nature of our mission, like Pompadour thought professional protection would be wise. Check your bag, sire? Hey! Yes, of course. Cornelius. Uh, yeah, excellent work, men. Uh, top notch. Uh, but I'm afraid we won't be needing you for the rest of the trip. Check that for you, ma'am. No. I'll just carry it if you don't mind. Gee, jumpy group. Huh? Say, Basil, isn't that Babar over there? The green suit and the crown is a dead giveaway, sir. I wonder where he's going. Judging by the name of the train, the Paris Express, I'd have to go out on a limb and say he was going to Paris. All right, Pompadour. <gasps> What's going on? Why is Babar going to Paris? Babar? Paris? <gasps> Don't play dumb with me. Just trying to keep things at your level. <laughs> you better not be laughing, Basil. Oh, come on, Pompadour. Surely you could give us a hint. Okay, but you've got to promise not to say who told you. Only if you promise not to say who asked. Deal. 
You won't believe this, but the mayor of Paris has requested our presence at a highly important meeting of the mines. You're right. I don't believe it. The mayor needs you? Well, actually, he asked for Babar and Madame. All aboard! No, if you'll excuse me, we can't keep the mayor waiting. Well, if that doesn't just chew my shoes. Something eating you, sir? The mayor of Paris needs Babar at a meeting of the mines? What's wrong with my mind? Don't answer that, Basil. I'm getting tired of always coming in second to that polite pachyderm. Huh? Holy horn warmers! Did you see that? Yeah. That guy just snuck aboard without paying. Not only that, King Babar could be in danger. You're right, Basil. Come on, we've got a train to catch. I can't believe I'm actually on my way to Paris. Might I remind you, sire, that this is a business trip? Quite right. We have a mission to carry out. My tusks! <gasps> the briefcase! It's gone! Calm yourself, Cornelius. It's right here. <gasps> oh, thank heavens. That reminds me. Where are the Secret Service fellows? We sent them home, Pompadour. Sent them home? But do you think that was wise? Who knows what kinds of nefarious knaves are lurking aboard this train? Yeah, Pompadour is right. I've read more than my share of mystery novels in my time, and it seems what we've created here is a classic case of motive, the top secret documents, and opportunity. Us trapped aboard a speeding train. All we need now is a, a mysterious stranger and the well-known blunt instrument. <laughs> <gasps> Risking life and limb to get aboard that train and save Babar's life. That is why you're doing this, isn't it, sir? Partly, yeah. But mostly to score points with the mayor. Get us closer, Basil. Okay, Basil. I'll jump first, then you. Got it? Got it! Charge! Jump, Basil! Yeah! Uh, good night, all. Good night. If you don't mind, I'd like to hold on to the briefcase tonight. I'll rest easier knowing you are safe. To be quite honest, I'll sleep better without it. Good night, Baba. Sleep well. So far, so good. No bad guys in sight. So? So we're gonna stake out Babar's cabin. Oh, and when the bad guy makes his move... Bam! We grab him! Good plan, your Uranus! I uh, thought so. <laughs> but stay on your toes, Basil. The only way we can save Babar and impress the mayor is by keeping our rhino senses razor sharp. You can count on me, sir. There's nothing like the rhythmic rocking of a rocketing train to induce a good night's sleep. Yet wouldn't you agree, Pompadour? Who 
wholeheartedly, Cornelius. Has anyone seen Madame this morning? Why, no, sire. Not as yet. Uh, perhaps she's still asleep. You know, there's nothing like the rhythmic rocking of a... Yes, Cornelius, we remember. But it's not like Madame to oversleep. No, it isn't. How could you let us fall asleep like that? I couldn't help it, sir. You know there's nothing like the rhythmic rocking of a rocketing train to induce a good night's sleep. I've heard that. Now, take a peek and see if Babar's finished breakfast yet. And see if the cook has made those muffins. I'm starved! He's done, sir, and he's headed this way. We've got to hide! Oh, indubitably. No, in here. <laughs> Good heavens, where could she be? Something isn't right here. You don't suppose someone... Does this answer your question? My tusks! You can't be serious. I'm afraid so. Madame has been kidnapped. Oh, my tusks! It's no use, sire. We've searched the train from end to end and there's no sign of her. But that's impossible. Conductor, did anyone leave the train last night? We're going 90 miles an hour. Obviously, the culprit was after the briefcase and thought Madame had it. Then where has he taken her? Nowhere. It is my considered opinion that Madame and her captor are still aboard. We must search the train. We've searched the train already. Correct. But now we must search using an eye for detail and a mind skilled in the art of mystery solving. And what makes you such an expert at solving mysteries? By having read every mystery novel ever written. Do you really think you can find her? Yes, I can find Madame. But in order to do that, we must uncover the identity of her captor. And how do you propose we do that? By engaging in an in-depth investigation involving an exhaustive series of clue sifting and suspect questioning, a time-consuming process which could take weeks, maybe even months. There he is! Or we could get lucky and bump right into the blighter. After him! We shall see who kidnapped Madame. The taxes? taxes? What are you doing here? Nothing. Is there some law against two rhinoceroses traveling by train? In matching trench coats and hats? Well, this is just dandy. The real culprit is probably halfway to Timbuktu by now. That's where you're wrong, Pompadour. Having given this case considerable thought, I have narrowed the guilty party down to four possible suspects. That's wonderful. Who are they? I demand to see the faces of these degenerates immediately. Us? You suspect us of kidnapping Madame? The guilty party was obviously someone she knew and ironically even trusted. Oh. That someone is in this room. <gasps> but to arrive at the answer, one must delve deep into the psyche of the guilty party. Wonderful. Pompadour! Yes? Isn't it true that you were insanely jealous of Madame's relationship with Baba? No! And isn't it also true that you harbored a deep and lasting resentment against her for casually tossing aside your perfectly planned schedule to embark on this mayoral mission? Well, maybe just a smidge. And Rataxis. You got nothing on me, Seamus. You loathe Baba and everything he stands for. 
Well, yeah. And isn't it true that Babar is who he is today, due in large part to years of tutelage by Madame? And isn't it also true that you stand to benefit the most if the woman behind Babar's rise to greatness suddenly disappeared? Yeah, I mean, no! And Basil, you're a fitness nut, are you not? Well, I hate to brag. The old lady was in fine shape for a woman her age, wouldn't you say? I guess so. And wouldn't you also say that the fact that she was in such top physical condition bothered you, even angered you? Here is a woman more than three times your age, and yet she could still outdo you in the 50-yard dash. <laughs> all right! All right, it bothered me! I admit it! <laughs> we all know you are not the guilty party. <laughs> I'm not? He's not? No! None of the aforementioned is. Then, if... We're not guilty. That leaves... Baba! Baba? I knew it all along. You resented her freedom to travel the world while you became a prisoner in a cage of your own making, chained to a desk weighed down by the responsibilities of being king. No! Over the years, your envy for Madame's freewheeling ways turned to anger. And on the night in question, you acted on that anger. No! You broke into Madame's room. And as she slept, you cancelled Madame's travel plans permanently. <laughs> Your man, men. Take him away. Cornelius, I am innocent. You've got to believe me. Have you lost your mind, man? King Babar simply isn't capable of such a despicable act. Tell them, Retaxes. I think he did it. Retaxes! The pressure of being king finally got to him. And he snapped. Can happen to the best of him. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got a meeting of the minds to make. Out of my way, Flatfoot. The mayor is waiting for this. Thank you. I am the mayor. You are? Oh, well, of course you are. The name's Retaxus. Lord Retaxus. We got the briefcase to you as soon as we could, your mayorness. No thanks to Babar here. You want me to open that now? If you don't mind, I'd like Babar to open it. Surprise? Surprise? Welcome back to Paris, Babar. Surprise! <laughs> A surprise party for Babar. By the city of Paris. How loved can it get? <laughs> father, father! You mean this was all a trick? Yeah, it's quite deceitful, I admit. But how else were we to get Baba to take a vacation with his family? And since Madame is an old friend of mine, I was only too happy to play along. I, I don't know what to say. I'm speechless. And so am I. Why wasn't I in on the surprise? Oh, we didn't mean to hurt your feelings, Pompadour, but everyone knows you can't keep a secret. Can too? That's right. Only yesterday, Retaxis and I asked Pompadour not to say anything about us horning in on Babar's visit with the mayor. And he didn't. Uh, pardon me, Basil, but who told you about the mayor's invitation? That was supposed to be top secret. He's got you there, Pompadour. <laughs> 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 Thank you all. This was totally unexpected and quite wonderful. But how did you manage to leave the train? Oh, it wasn't easy. 
As it turned out, a problem arose, and Arthur took it upon himself to sneak aboard the train to inform me. The problem threatened to ruin the surprise. And since Madame was the only person who could solve it, we stopped the train in the middle of the night and whisked her ahead to Paris. Arthur? In the flesh! That must have been some problem. What was it? Nobody knew how many candles to put on the cake. <laughs> Thirty candles for the thirty years since we first met in Paris. <gasps> Welcome home, Baba. think we need them? Uh, due to the top secret nature of our mission, uh, Pompadour thought professional protection would be wise. Check your bag, sire? Hey! Yes, of course. Cornelius. Uh, excellent work, men. Uh, top notch. Uh, but I'm afraid we won't be needing you for the rest of the trip. Can I check that for you, ma'am? No! I'll just carry it if you don't mind. Gee, jumpy group. Huh? Say, Basil, isn't that Babar over there? The green suit and the crown is a dead giveaway, sir. I wonder where he's going. Judging by the name of the train, the Paris Express, I'd have to go out on a limb and say he was going to Paris. All right, Pompadour. <gasps> What's going on? Why is Babar going to Paris? Babar? Paris? <gasps> Don't play dumb with me. Just trying to keep things at your level. <laughs> you better not be laughing, Basil. Oh, come on, Pompadour. Surely you could give us a hint. Okay, but you've got to promise not to say who told you. Only if you promise not to say who asked. Deal. You won't believe this, but the mayor of Paris has requested our presence at a highly important meeting of the mines. You're right. I don't believe it. The mayor needs you? Well... Actually, he asked for Babar and Madame. All aboard! Now, if you'll excuse me, we can't keep the mayor waiting. Well, if that doesn't just chew my shoes. Something eating you, sir? The mayor of Paris, Measel? I'll jump first, then you. Got it? Got it! Charge! Jump, Basil! Yeah! Uh, good night, all. 
Good night. If you don't mind, I'd like to hold on to the briefcase tonight. I'll rest easier knowing you're safe. To be quite honest, I'll sleep better without it. Good night, Barbar. Sleep well. So far, so good. No bad guys in sight. So? So we're gonna stake out Babar's cabin. Oh, and when the bad guy makes his move... Bam! We grab him! Good plan, your Uranus! I thought so. <laughs> but stay on your toes, Basil. The only way we can save Babar and impress the mayor is by keeping our rhino senses razor sharp. You can count on me, sir. There's nothing like the rhythmic rocking of a rocketing train to induce a good night's sleep. Yeah, wouldn't you agree, Pompadour? Wholeheartedly, Cornelius. Has anyone seen Madame this morning? Why, no, sire. Not as yet. Yeah, perhaps she's still asleep. You know, there's nothing... You see, Pompadour is keeping you as busy as ever, Baba. Some things never change. Especially you, my dear. Tell me. How were your travels? I wouldn't know where to begin. Rome was romantic, the Orient was fascinating, and Africa was breathtaking. And Paris. How was Paris? Beautiful. You said it yourself, Baba. Some things never change. We had some grand times there, didn't we? We certainly did. I can't understand why you've never gone back. It's not that I haven't wanted to. Paris is like a second home to me. I planned to take the whole family there a number of times, but my schedule never permitted it. One minute left. Uh, Baba, this letter just arrived for you. It's from the mayor of Paris, and it's marked urgent. Well, what does it say? The mayor is requesting our presence at a highly important meeting. The mayor wants me? What an honor. No, actually, he wants Madame and I. Whatever for, Baba? He can't say. It's top secret. His only instructions are that we deliver the briefcase to him personally. The document inside is vital to the success of the meeting. We're not to let it out of our sight for a second. Briefcase? What briefcase? Cornelius! Oh, good heavens! I left it in the hall! Oh, oh, there! Oh. How very intriguing! I wonder what's inside. We've been asked not to open it until we reach Paris. Don't tell me that you are actually considering embarking on this mission. What if it's dangerous? What about my schedule? My, my, how exciting. We've never performed a top secret mission before. A few assignments, yes, and scores of chores. <laughs> yeah, but never a top secret mission. I wonder what this is all about. Whatever it is, it must be important, Baba. Clear my schedule, Pompadour. We're catching the next train to Paris. Babar at a meeting of the minds? What's wrong with my mind? Don't answer that, Basil. I'm getting tired of always coming in second to that polite pachyderm. Holy horn warmers! Did you see that? Yeah! That guy just snuck aboard without paying! Not only that, King Babar could be in danger! You're right, Basil! Come on! We've got a train to catch! I can't believe I'm actually on my way to Paris! Might I remind you, sire, that this is a business trip? Quite right! We have a mission to carry out! 
My tusks! The briefcase! It's gone! Calm yourself, Cornelius. It's right here. Oh, thank heavens. That reminds me. Where are the Secret Service fellows? We sent them home, Pompadour. Sent them home? But do you think that was wise? Who knows what kinds of nefarious knaves are lurking aboard this train? Yeah, Pompadour is right. I've read more than my share of mystery novels in my time, and it seems what we've created here is a classic case of motive, the top secret documents, and opportunity, us trapped aboard a speeding train. All we need now is a, a mysterious stranger and the well-known blunt instrument. <laughs> <gasps> of you, risking life and limb to get aboard that train and save Babar's life. That is why you're doing this, isn't it, sir? Partly, yeah. Uh, but mostly to score points with the mayor. Get us closer, Basil. Okay, Basil. For you, sire. <sighs> Pompadour, please. How much paperwork can one king endure? I'm not sure. Hmm. Please sign these quickly, sire. I have your entire schedule timed right down to the minute. You have a luncheon with the ladies' limbo league at two, a conference call with the koala king at three, and the annual fly fisherman's flotilla and fish feast at four. I'm still full from the last time. Hello, Baba. Pompadour? Madame, how wonderful to see you. Pompadour, look who's back. How nice to see you again, Madame. We simply must sit down and catch up. You have two minutes. 